After successfully completing this lesson, you will be familiar with the training and drills required by the ship security plan. Ship's personnel already have designated positions and duties in the event of shipboard emergencies, such as fire, abandoned ship, or pollution. The ship security plan provides for equivalent security duties as well. Examples of these duties are inspection, control, and monitoring of restricted areas, inspection, control, and monitoring of key shipboard operations, inspection, control, and monitoring of visitors on board. Detection and identification of weapons and other dangerous substances and devices on board. Operation of security equipment. Physical search methods of persons, baggage, cargo, and ship's stores. When signing on, you will be informed about your security duties. To be able to effectively perform your security duties, training and drills are essential. At least once every three months, or where more than 25% of the ship's personnel has been changed at any one time, with personnel that have not previously participated in any drill on that ship within the last three months, a drill should be conducted within one week of the change. The ship security officer, in compliance with the policies set by the company security officer, is responsible for implementing a training schedule on board that will provide adequate and proper security training for shipboard personnel. Security equipment varies in design from ship to ship. It is important that you receive proper training on how to operate the specific security equipment on your ship. Such equipment might include padlocks for securing restricted areas, passes for visitors on board, closed circuit television for monitoring restricted areas, X-ray machines for inspection of luggage and stores. The ship's security plan must contain contingency measures and standard operating procedures for different security threats. On receipt of a bomb threat against the vessel, the applicable procedures in the ship's security plan must be followed. These must include assigning personnel to search designated areas of the ship, outlining what to do if a suspicious package is found. Since terrorists can disguise a bomb in many different ways, it is almost impossible to know what to look for. Therefore, you should not be looking for a bomb, but rather anything irregular or suspicious, anything that does not fit in. When searching for a bomb, follow the rule eyes, not hands, as touching a bomb may cause it to detonate. The response on locating a bomb or suspicious object will depend on the equipment on board your ship. Some vessels have the likes of blast suppression blankets, but most will have to seek specialist advice from a competent shore authority. Further details can be found in the ship's security plan. If a ship is in port and a bomb warning is received, the master, the ship's security officer and the port security officials will liaise, arrive at a collective decision and initiate appropriate action. Options may include evacuation of the ship, or removal of the vessel to an anchorage. Each case will be evaluated on the prevailing circumstances and the nature of the threat. If it is required to evacuate the ship as a result of a bomb threat or similar terrorist act, this should be done in accordance with the procedure outlined in the ship's security plan. This includes information on where to muster after the evacuation, which way to leave the vessel and what to take with you. If your ship is approached by a small vessel which does not identify itself, it could be carrying terrorists or pirates. It is preferable to stop them getting on board, if at all possible, and high-pressure fire hoses directed from the deck can be an effective deterrent. A ship with a high freeboard may be able to prevent boarding simply by speed or sharp manoeuvre. If your vessel is about to enter an area known for terrorist or pirate activity, there are a number of basic precautions that can be taken. These are outlined in your ship security plan and may include 
If possible, only transit this area during daylight. If transiting during hours of darkness, keep all deck lights and floodlights switched on, consistent with safe navigation. Transit with maximum safe speed. Post an extra lookout on the bridge and increase radar surveillance. Post additional personnel, both as extra lookouts in other areas and to make rounds. Have fire hoses pressurized ready around the ship's side. If pirates or terrorists board your ship at sea, follow the applicable procedures as outlined in the ship security plan. These may include raise the general alarm, activate the ship security alert system, do not confront the boarders, wait for outside help.